Hi everyone, welcome to Legal Talks by Desi Kanun. I am Suyash and today I will discuss the case of Muhammad Alfaz Ali versus the State of Assam, wherein the Honorable Supreme Court discussed whether imprisonment for life means rigorous imprisonment for life or not. The brief facts of the case are that the petitioner was convicted under Section 302 of Indian Penal Code for the offence of murder and was sentenced to undergo rigorous imprisonment for life. Such conviction was challenged unsuccessfully by way of appeal before the High Court. Thereafter, the matter traversed to the Supreme Court. The moot question that was answered by the Supreme Court was whether sentence of imprisonment for life has to be equated to rigorous imprisonment for life. Before adverting any further, let us peruse sections 53A, 55, 57 and 60 of IPC. Section 53A provides that any reference to transportation for life in any law would mean as rigorous imprisonment for life. Further, Section 55 of IPC provides power to the government to commute the sentence of imprisonment of life of an offender to a sentence that is less than 14 years. Next, Section 57 of IPC provides that while calculating fractions of terms of imprisonment, imprisonment for life shall be construed as imprisonment for 20 years. And lastly, Section 60 of IPC provides power to the court to decide what part of an imprisonment which may be of either description shall be rigorous imprisonment and what part shall be simple imprisonment. In order to understand the answer to this question, let us peruse the pertinent observations by the Supreme Court. Firstly, the court cited the case of Gopal Vinayak Godse versus State of Maharashtra and others, wherein it was observed that unless an imprisonment for life is commuted or remitted by an appropriate authority, it would mean that the offender is bound in law to serve the life term in prison and life imprisonment is one of indefinite duration. Secondly, the court cited the case of Satpal versus State of Haryana. Wherein it was observed that though life imprisonment has not been defined under any statute, yet necessary implication of Section 53A of IPC suggests that imprisonment for life is given for commission of heinous offences and therefore it must mean rigorous imprisonment for life. As discussed, Section 53A provides that transportation for life means rigorous imprisonment for life. Thirdly, the court also cited the case of Muhammad Munna versus Union of India, wherein it was held that by virtue of Section 57 of IPC, a life sentence cannot be treated as one of not more than 20 years or that the convict is necessarily entitled for remission. Section 57 of IPC merely provides that while calculating fractions of terms of imprisonment, imprisonment for life shall be construed as imprisonment for 20 years. Thus, the emphasis is on the term while calculating fractions. Section 57 is applicable for calculation of fractions and not for the purposes of deciding the nature of sentencing. And lastly, the court discussed the case of Nayab Singh versus State of Punjab and others, wherein it was noted that a sentence of imprisonment for life cannot be regarded as one of not more than 14 years rigorous imprisonment. This case also explained that Section 60 of IPC is applicable only to cases where the offence committed by an offender provides for imprisonment which may be of either description and therefore the sentence of imprisonment for life has to be equated to rigorous imprisonment for life. Thus, based on the aforestated conspectus of case laws, the Honorable Supreme Court held that the sentence of imprisonment for life 
has to be equated to regress imprisonment for life and the special leave petition preferred by the appellant was dismissed those were the observations by the court so what are my concluding remarks in the present case and the cases discussed here all that the courts have done is to interpret sections 53a 55 57 and 60 of ipc and other legal provisions the intention of the legislature was gathered by harmoniously construing various legal provisions and no where the legislative intent reflects that an imprisonment for life would mean simple imprisonment thus the law is well settled in this regard i also find the logic of the court to be impeccable as imprisonment for life is given only in grave and heinous offenses it would be quite irrational if sentence of simple imprisonment is given for heinous offenses and regress imprisonment is given for lesser offenses hence i hope you enjoyed listening to the show thank you for listening please do not forget to like and subscribe us and if you have any comments please make them in the comments section see you next time till then stay tuned